Mmm. Sehr lecker. Hallo Leute. Welcome back. My name is Divi. And I love Haribos. My dad just got back from Germany for a quick trip and obviously I asked for some Haribos. So good. Even though I can get Haribos here in Canada. I don't know, just something about getting them from Germany. Because when I was in Germany I did go to the Haribo factory store in Bonn and it was amazing. But anyways, let's get back to the topic of this video, which is my favorite German words. So, as I've been learning German for a while now, almost three years, yeah, 2016, 17, almost 18, yeah, three years, there have been a lot of words that have come across that have been interesting, some have been funny, some have been like practical, some have just been like ones I use all the time, and I just wanted to take some time to review some of my favorite German words. All right, so we're gonna start with my first word, which is genau. Genau. So genau just literally means exactly. It's a very useful word to know. I know the, the English equivalent, yes, it is exactly. But the way it's used, I found that when I was in German, Germany, the word genau was used a lot. Typically, when someone says something to you and you agree with them, you say, yeah, genau, or just genau. In English, I guess exactly is, or you could say right, but the equivalent I don't think is used as much as it would be in Germany. So when someone says something to me like, oh, this is this, I would be like, yeah. I don't know if I would go and be like, exactly, exactly, or right. Versus just sitting in like a train station or waiting for a bus or even in a supermarket. I noticed in Germany, everybody uses the word genau. And what's even cooler or funnier about it is when you add the word ganz, before genau, like guns genau, it just emphasizes it even more. So when you're like really agreeing with someone, guns genau. I thought it was hilarious. It sounded so funny. But some of my friends actually in Germany, when we were studying abroad, we would we we kept hearing it so often. We would just kind of put it out of proportion and start using guns, but multiple ganses. So if <laughs> if there was a joke we made or something that we agreed with, like oh we should have this for dinner, and somebody agreed, they'd be like guns, 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 guns. Guns canal, adding so many excessive canals, which you, or guns is before the canal, which you don't need, and all it does is just emphasizes the fact that you're really strongly agreeing. All right, my second favorite word, and I don't know why this is one of my favorite words. Maybe it's just the way it sounds or what it means, but it is Kopfschmerzen, <laughs> which just means a headache. Kopf means head, Schmerzen, pain or ache, I guess. Headache. Um, so what, this is probably one of the first words for whatever reason I learned back in 2016 when I was, I don't think that I learned this in, actually yeah, I did, I think I did learn this in school when I was in my A1 course at the University of Mannheim, but I learned it and I know for a fact that at some point in that semester while I was abroad and I was practicing my German with uh, my family that I did get sick and I did have a headache at some point and I remember using it and it just kind of stuck ever since, Kopfschmerzen, um, I don't know, I think it's the whole combination of the P and the F in the same word. Um, and then also the German shh, but also with an M at the end. Like just a combination of those words for whatever reason is fascinating to me and I found it hilarious, not hilarious, but um, just fun to say Kopfschmerzen, Kopfschmerzen. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but there you go. That's my second word, Kopfschmerzen. Second favorite German word. And I don't even know if this, this is an actual, it's not even in an order. It's just some of my favorite words. All right, my next favorite word, I guess. Again, again, this is not in a particular order. I'm just going random. It is Kugelschreiber. Kugelschreiber. Cool. And I don't know if I'm saying this right, but I think I am. Kugelschreiber. Uh, from my understanding, it just means pen. It just sounds so cool because it has Kugel in Schreiber. And I think the practicality of it is pretty cool too. Kugel, I think, just means something. I don't know if it means like a ballpoint or like a sharp or something. Sharp point. And then Schreiber just means like writer, I guess. Because Schreiber comes from Schreiben, which means to write. So if you add an er to it at the end, it just means like you use it to write, I'm thinking. And then you put the two together, it's like a cool schreiber, it's like a sharp writer. So I, I'm, either it means pen or it means like a ballpoint pen. Probably a ballpoint pen because I think a pen is actually shticked. But I could be wrong. Anyway, it just sounds such like a cool word, cool schreiber. Next up, we have bitter, bitter, bitter. A bit has an interesting one as well, and I don't even know if I know all the applications of it, but I know it has many. Um, most commonly, I think I use it as a like please. So when you order something, um, 
Ich möchte einen Kaffee bitte. You just say it like a coffee please. And just add it at the end. So I think that's a really common way. Um, I think it also can be used as you're welcome. So if someone says Dankeschön, you can say bitte. What else is there to use bitte? I know there's a lot and they think it's one that you do hear a lot. And again, this is another one of those words like now where in public settings I do hear bitte a lot. It also means excuse me if you're walking to a bitte. Um, v bitte I believe means like can you say that again or please repeat it. Um, so yeah, multiple uses of the word uh, and I think that's why I like it. All right. Mm. The cola one's really good. I don't know if you guys like Haribo's, but you should let me know if you do, whichever for Haribo version or flavor that you like the best. All right, it's probably really rude to talk and continue this video with some Haribo's in my mouth, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because if I have to wait, it's gonna take forever and I might forget. So, my last favorite word on this list is manchmal. <laughs> and I think manchmal means sometimes. So people ask me questions a lot, whether it's family or, or my German buddy or whoever, it says, do you do this or do you like this? You kind of take a slow pause and you're like, yeah, manchmal. Like, it just makes me sound like I know what I'm talking about, even if I don't. And it's practical because sometimes is a word that I think even in English I use quite a bit. When people ask you, you're not saying, it's not often, so you don't say oft. Um, and it's never, never, so you don't say nie. You're like, yeah, manchmal. And you have to put the emotion, I think, and the expression in to make it sound legit, like, so you can sell it. So when yeah, so when somebody asks me, oh, it's like, do you go to the gym often, or do you go to the gym? Yeah, much more. I think it's a combination of the word is practical, and then you can add expressions, and you can sell it as if you know what you're talking about, but you don't. And yeah, that is why I like that word. Okay, I'm gonna probably sit here and finish this entire package, but I hope you like this video. These are a few of my German words that I like, and I could probably make another one in in, in some time in the future and see if that if my list changes. Obviously or hopefully it does change, otherwise I wouldn't want to make the same video all over again just saying the same words. But I thought this would be a quick fun video to say I am still on track to learn German and tackle my B2 exam in January. So those videos will not stop, I will continue making those, but I thought I'd take a quick break from one of them for my studying to just focus on talking to you about some of my favorite German words. And I will see you guys in the next video. Tschüss, bis bald, bis später.